Hello and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to uh, be updating the watch list a little bit. Um, first off, let's go and go back to BGFV and see how that did from yesterday and it did not build that support. It fell through so that is no good for right now if for whatever reason it does come back up and hold this 869 area, 870 area. Uh, it might be worth considering, but at this point, I'm okay. So I actually did a, a quick scan a little bit earlier. I had to go on a photo shoot. Let's move this. I don't really, I, you can't really see the pattern like this. So I'm going to squeeze these bars together on the price axis. I had to go on a photo shoot earlier. I did a quick scan. Let's set it to some support and resistance levels here and we'll just we'll see how they look so currently we're breaking over fifty one dollars with potential to go relatively speaking up forty percent Maybe we can build into it. Looking on the one hour is pretty extended. So what I would like to see is instead of chasing into this candle is maybe look for a retest of this uh, 5140. Maybe uh, what's that high 5312 at least. Let's set a level right there 5312. Let's see if we get a retest there. And if at any point it starts to uh, bounce off of there and trend higher, we can start to build into a position and definitely take advantage of that over some time. So we are going to add that to video watch list. A RWR. Oh. Main watch list so even though <clears throat> I'm, I'm checking these out now doesn't mean I'm going to trade them tomorrow exactly just going to be keeping an eye on them to see where they move and if at any point they look good I might start throwing in a few test shares Car was another one, Avis. Avis, I'm not too fond of in terms of the company itself. But if we don't get rejected here, which as of right now, based off of this candle, this high here, we're getting rejected. It might not follow through, but just in case it does, since we have these EMAs pointing up, just in case it does and it actually does pop up over and hold. That could be 37%. That's good. It already went nine today. Big volume has their earnings coming up, so I'd be careful of that. That's for sure. CMRE. Another one that looked interesting. 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 Hmm. Couldn't say that for some reason. Settings. I feel like I'm going to push this a little bit closer together. Maybe. Let's check it out. Same thing with this one. It's uh, it's pushing. It's already it's already pushing. This uh fake support fell through. Now it's going to be the resistance. Going to a three week. Let's extend that line out. Three year one week. Not three week. Going to the three year one week. 
somewhat of a resistance right there going over to the month yep that definitely lines up that definitely lines up let's throw uh let's throw another line in here just in case we start moving higher this is going to be the next resistance in here relatively speaking go backwards what was that at? what did i place that at Nine dot five two. Nine dot five two. It's definitely possible. Twenty six percent, forty two percent. I do like this. It's a little sketchy since it is a uh, smaller stock. Actually, let me show you this. Either way, what I'm looking at is this consolidation that's inside of this range here between 450 up to 6 that has broken out and is starting to build up, trend on this 9 EMA, push up towards this next resistance at 757. Uh, what's sketchy about this is that I would not buy it yet until it starts to build up into this into this resistance and then break up over it and at that point again i would want to see it retest this line here at 750 and then go up from there for the 25 to 40 percent i don't need to risk this three percent or even if i were to buy at the nine ema just in case it were to drop down Again, 11% for this 13% potential loss, or from here, even greater, 20%. So what I want to see is this price build up and over 750, hold, hold as a retest. Maybe, maybe even, no, it doesn't have to consolidate, but it has to retest it and then follow through. And at that point, I'll build into a position nice safe and secure but with a decent size so that we at least capitalize on that forward momentum okay moving on to amkr let's see what we have for the support and resistance start off with that support right off of this base here we'll just throw one right here just based off of this candle right there resistance resistance and we might be able to follow through amkr let's see what do we got for amkrs price target 13.33 or right there last one was september 24th for 16 dollars Let's see, so we've already been near that range before. $16, 21%, it's possible. The only thing with this is that we're in this uh, space up here, this thin air. Not technically near a support, which would be better to buy down here, but why are we going to skip? Potential 22%. If anything, we can use this resistance line here as a uh, stop loss. So again, we need to build up, retest, push through into $14 range. And that risk to reward wouldn't be too bad. So you got six, seven percent potential for your twenty-two percent, and your downside would probably just be not. Even, I mean, you could do two percent technically if you wanted to. Twelve point seven five will put you right back down into this consolidation range. But since we're already kind of peeking out and over, I would like to stay over that. So 
Let's add, let's add these to the list. What was that car? CMRE, MKR, K, AMTX. AMTX has this nice consolidation that built up and pushed its way through. We might have a con a uh, continuation, to be honest. Let's see here. AMTX. 450 was the last price target. Or I don't know where they're getting that target price from. Because it's showing July of 2016. So interesting. Not sure where they're getting that from, so I guess that's not going to be a relative target for us. This is just going to be a pure trend play if we were to follow through with this, which is potential, but it's super sketchy. So, I mean, if anything, it would be like half of a full position, maybe even, maybe even a quarter or a third. And write that up. See if, see if we can build up off of this and just follow through. If anything, what I would like to see is maybe a uh, a wick for tomorrow come down just slightly. And then follow through. Yep, that would be nice. That would be nice. But for now, not going to chase that. <coughs> <clears throat> apps apps is uh coming down but it is one that we're going to add to the watch list not one that's going to be traded anytime soon just something to watch what was that apps now we got a v x l a v x l let's just throw some lines on this a little erratic let's do this sometimes you really just have to bunch these lines up a little bit looking better so based off of this high right here resistance extend it out to the left never held that's resistance there now we're building up into it and look at this extreme volume 12 million if you look here at this volume when i hover over 11.9 million and it went up 26 percent settled at seven and a half no 28% settled at 10.5% up the next day. That's a lot of volume. That is a lot of volume. Let's go over to the weekly. Not getting anything off of that other than we are coming up on the momentum for the TTM squeeze. We have these red dots forming here. We could follow through up and over. And if we were to get something to push through, look, we even have one forming on the monthly. And if we were to push through AVXL AVXL price target none September 28th 2020 for $12 oh and we are at $5 right now we are at $5 right now it said what $12 $12 you heard it you heard it not for me well, from me, but from Leidenberg Thalman. You heard it from them. I'm just the messenger. We're going to set that right there for $12. And we're going to see right here. Bada bing, bang, boop. 133%, 134%. 
Now that would be something to write home about. For sure. For sure. 22% just to the high right here on the daily chart. I do like that a lot. I do like that a lot. One more time. I do like that a lot. That is so crazy that they have all that volume. Earnings, August 6th. So, do they have any other earnings being reported? Not yet. NFX, up 29% after results from Parkinson's disease dementia study. And that's the reason for the pop. But this one is going to move with some time, I think. That is a strong possibility. Maybe it's on to the next one. BJ. BJ's restaurant. Restaurant chain. Support resistance. One more support. Oh, see. It already double clicked for some reason. This crazy mouse. Crazy guy. We'll extend this out right here. Boom. I like this. Yeah, let's do this one more time. Boom. I like that range right there. That range. 13%. 4%. If you can buy that right there, you can buy maybe 39.80. That might work. 2% stop just underneath it because we're not trying to drop down below. That would be a different trade, assuming that it actually held. But as of right now, here, here is where we're at. We'll go down to the hourly. Let's see. The hourly is all consolidation. All consolidation. I do like that. I do like that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Interesting. Certainly interesting. How high? 13. It's all right. Compared to AVXL. Now, that was something. Check out this. Declining momentum on the weekly. Starting to turn over. That could be good for BJ. That, that could be good for BJ. Did we add it? Not yet. Coop. Yo, Koopa Doop. Koopa Doop. Look at all these lines that we already added. Perfect. 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 So they have their earnings coming up. The thing about Coop that I was interested in was how it expands its range. By about 10 or 12 percent. Sometimes you just have to have to adjust your bars. So every time it comes up, broke up out of this resistance, came up 32 percent. But that's not what I'm worried about. What I care about is how it hits this this resistance, comes down over the course of 11 days. 10% pops up, builds through 25 days, that's 30%. Comes down from that now resistance. Comes down for five days, 10%, 9% relative to this 10%. But once it starts to pop up, crazy guy, what was that? 11 days, 20%. So, looking at Coop, Cooper Doop, COOP, 2630 and $30, October 20th. What's today? October 20th. They just had one today. They just had a price target increase today to what? $30. $30. Fucking arrows. That means dollars.
we'll just set that right there so from where we are at right now if if that were to follow through over the course of however long it takes uh, that's 22 percent, so that's not bad so i'm going to add that there because that is possible i like how we're building into that into that resistance area there and now we need to start following through this is why i say that i don't want to buy the breakout of it because it could be a false breakout so what i want to see is after that first green day is either for that trend to say this was a green candle right here well this is we'll imagine this lighting right here so it comes up this is what i want to see here but then it starts to turn green and follows through what i don't want to see is for it to come back down like this unless it retests this line here at 2460 creates a wick bounces off of it and stays above that line now that would be nice and that would be what we are looking for just like this watch just like this we break through the resistance we hold this level push through that's what i want to see that would be perfect if uh it's not perfect then this is what you're going to get and you're going to be having a tough time buying inside this unless you just hold um but that's five percent five percent might as well just cut a two percent stop come back at the same price once it follows through again but you never know when this one moment is just gonna collapse so that's why you want to have a stop you want to have a plan maybe it's not a two percent stop but you want to have a plan fsm 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 oh well we have no lines on it Looks a little weird at first, but and adding a little order to this chaos here, and you can see this consolidation that we have. Uh, EMA cross nine, the nine red crossed over the twenty five magenta. Starting to see that this cross over here is happening again, happening again over here, so that could be good. That could be good. So what I would like to see, you see this, this candle, how it pushes up and now it starts to flag out. Aside from this candle here, that's what I don't want to see. I would like for it to continue through like this. Perfect. Pushes up, flags through, pushes through. Now it, it could push up, flag, and then collapse. That's why you want to have an exit plan. But as of right now, we pushed up, flagged over, and we haven't pushed through yet, but we haven't collapsed either yet so that's the one hour and i like that it's silver so i don't think the volatility is going to be there we just see i mean nine dollars downgraded april 2nd so there's that risk but nine dollars could be possible just based off of this consolidation here if it decides to follow through if we can get that crossover here to hold and the nine and the 25 to separate and open up like it did here that would be a nice consolidation follow through on the trend just like uh it did prior so we will see I need these uh, EMAs to open up here, and that would be nice. Imagine we bought in here <clears throat> right after it crossed over. We had a retest. Uh, maybe we didn't buy the exact bottom, so we'll just say we bought the close. We bought the close of that crossover retest and held. That'd be 200% in 147 days. That's a little bit of some time, but I mean... I'm not going to complain over 147, 147%. That is for sure. We are almost done here with last but not least Halo. Halo has busted through. See how these EMA lines are starting to cross and uh, open up. 
that would be nice so this is uh not something that we are going to trade right now of course because we're already breaking over the uh resistance unless we can get that retest we can get a retest somewhere or maybe for this level to hold consolidate and push over then this consolidation here might go further halo halo 32.73 32.73 and we're at 30 now eight percent so 12 percent even better we can get us somewhere down here as long as that level holds around 29 30 that might be good so we'll just add it to the list and this is what we're, we are going to have for now amkr amkr is peaking over needs to hold 13 dollars. if not it starts to come back down that's not the trade i care about these emas crossing and opening up though is nice i like that amtx is uh not for the faint of heart these are only for test shares maybe even just for fun just to do one share and for the experience nothing wrong with that just do one share and play around with it see where it goes hold on to it nobody knows and then we got apps like i said needs to come down when these emas cross over those are perfect so if we ever catch that in the future you never know what might happen you might catch a 646 percenter and uh that's how you get jeff bezos rich if uh, you do that about six thousand times what do we got here what do we got here 43 percent i like that emas are crossing they're both above the 200 so we might be in an uptrend what matters the most is how we play these what matters the most is how we play these weird volume here a lot of volume here so avxl is definitely worth keeping a strong eye on bj moves rather slow but this consolidation here as well as with this uh, ttm squeeze forming here on the daily chart could be good strong volume for today six million when yesterday was two so see how we drew this line earlier and it matches with this wick what we need is now for the price to pop up and hold over even if it drops down below it needs to come back over create a wick here as a rejection to go lower and for this to now hold as a support and that could be potentially 39 percent in the coming days over time another one a lot of volume today a lot of volume today but again needs to hold over 755 and show itself as a support coop coop has already done that built up built support consolidated push through resistance came down built up as consolidation push through so that's what we're looking for in those other ones right here i don't mind giving up certain little percentages look at that that's nothing that's two and a that's two percent for the potential of 29 nope sorry skipping two percent for potential of 25 to 40 percent so <clears throat> i would just rather wait for uh those supports to uh actually be a support because as of right now they're not this is a support this is a support 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 resistance resistance but these emas are starting to cross over so it is worth it keeping an eye over and halo needs to retest so that's about it we're going to add those and keep those on the list, keep an eye on those, and we'll keep track of those in the coming days. And we'll see where we go. 
today, today, yesterday, I actually lost the same amount of money, which, uh, to be honest, is not too bad, but I'm down 9257.69. This is where I'm at as of right now, which means down 1.5% for today, for the month. I am up 19.89%, which is still pretty good. I keep a track of uh, my closing balance every day. I know I can do this through uh, Think or Swim, same exact thing, or I'm sorry, through the TD Ameritrade actual website, but I've added money and I label it here. Uh, this is the actual percentage that I made for the day, 15%, 540 bucks. I don't calculate the 2000 that I added into it as a percentage, as you can see, I, I change the uh, the formula for each one every time I add. So my biggest day so far is not my biggest percentage win so far, but it's my biggest profit in terms of dollar amount for the day, thousand dollars on uh, October seventh, not too long ago. So we started the month off pretty good. Uh, we just gotta keep our losses smaller and the issue for sure was i had too many positions open so i started with a thousand and i added added some money added 50 here when i first started 1200 dollars stimulus check added that started to learn options for a month and uh that's a lot of red days but that's what happens when you do options with a re very small account and no educational training then i came back i had some unemployment figured why not put it into my stocks for now instead of collecting dust in my savings so i added 2000 here added 2000 here still made 540 that day i don't know what this 31 percent is i don't know why that's there oh I was adding up all these green days. 32%. Yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. All I do is just uh, import my uh, trades or my balances from uh, TD Ameritrade and just put it into this balance here from uh, the beginning of March. Had I started with more money instead of $1,000, say, say I started with... 8,000 and I still made the same percentages, which is 120% since then. 8,000 times 120%. That's where I'd be at. 9,600 plus the, uh, what did I say, 8,000? I'd be at 1,700, but I didn't. I started smaller. I started with 1,000 and I started to add money from there. I'm not going to fund my account anymore uh, in the foreseeable future just because I want to see if now I can double my money from the 7300 that I was at after I added this last money. Let me see. So 7683 is what I want to double now. I'm not going to add any money from there. 7683. Try and double that. We'll see what happens. All right. Y'all take care, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good night. And uh, just in case you're wondering who uh, I'm going to be voting for, I'm going to vote for tacos. That's who I'm voting for. Take care.